Hey, little man, you want to go? Come on over here. What's your name, Junior? Paul. It's good looking out. Hey, what's your favorite basketball? Okay, we're out here at the Sprint Center doing some uh, talking about audio here. And so today I'm recording a live uh, run and gun situation. We're using the Roadlink wireless kit, and I'm going to put that on my subject who's out there in the middle of the court. And also, I'm using just a shotgun on the C100. Uh, for ambient sounds, and also just if I get close to somebody, you can't really beat having a shotgun when you're outside because that's just going to be the highest quality. in downtown Kansas City and using uh, portable audio gear run and gun and the best thing that I've found to mic somebody when you're running and gunning is the Rode Link wireless kit I talked about last week just mount it to them here let me see if I can get out of the wind just mount it to them and uh, make sure you're connected and it transmits on the Wi-Fi frequencies up at like 2.4 gigahertz so you don't usually get a lot of interference with other wireless things but more and more things are moving up to those frequencies and that's why um, it could become a problem. The other thing I do is I just mount the Rode NTG3 to the C100, obviously with the windscreen on it. That'll get you really good audio for running gun, especially for what's going on in front of the camera um, and outside, that's, that's definitely a really good one to go. We're out here with Paul Long shooting him as he emcees this uh, Wendy's basketball event since the NCAAs are in town here at the Sprint Center behind me there. And the Rode wireless kit was perfect to mount to him because he can just run around, no worries. And I capture all his audio, mostly clean, had to put a windscreen on it. And he was wearing a t-shirt, so it was a little harder to mount, but uh, everything worked out great. That's right, that's right. I See, I like, iron, I'll be that's all good. You're gonna, you're gonna sink it. Answer to a numeric trivia question. Oh boy. Closest to it wins. I'm an athlete, not a smart guy. But here's the deal. You got to make the shot for a demon being the running. Oh, I'm a miss. So anyway. Let's get this over with. What's your name? All right, we got a little KU band action. So the moral of the story is if you're starting out and you're on a budget, Roadlink wireless kit is probably the best wireless transmitter out there. It's not the best microphone, but as far as transmitter goes, I have really rarely run into problems with it, where if you use some of the Sennheiser ones or other mics like that, you run into transmission issues where they break it up and all that kind of stuff. If you're not shooting on a rig like the C100 or another camera that can house a big mic, definitely look into the Rode uh, Video Mic Pros. I know it sounds like I'm advertising for Rode, but really I'm just, I really love their product. Shure makes one like that that has an eighth inch jack instead of an XLR, doesn't need phantom power. Those are pretty common for the more DSLR shooter if that's what you're doing and you're running and gunning. But like I've said before, the best option, in my opinion, for capturing B-roll audio when you don't have a dedicated audio guy is just to get uh, some stereo mics, either using a recorder like the H6 or a Tascam or the H4N, mounting it to your camera or getting a XY configured stereo mic from Rode or Shure or anybody else who makes something like that. Because when you're out doing a live event, it's crucial that you're there for the moment. Whether you shoot weddings or events like this where you're just trying to capture the whole thing, you got to be focusing on picture, camera, focus, exposure, all of it. And it's pretty hard to focus on audio at the same time, especially if you don't have good audio monitoring meters within your camera or your recorder and access to it. So it's best to have something that you can kind of set and forget to an extent. Um, if the camera has a limiting system on it, use that. If the microphone has those tools, use that. Otherwise, you should be good to go.